Thank you, Presiding Officer. To ask the Scottish Government what its response is to a report by WWF Scotland that states that Scotland will fall significantly short of its target for decarbonising heating in homes. Minister Patrick Harvey. Thank you, Presiding Officer. This report is both welcome and challenging. It supports the main policies in our heat and building strategy, which are designed to meet our objective for emissions reduction by 2045. And since that strategy was published, we've been de developing more detailed proposals on supply chain capacity, delivery programmes, advice and funding. On the key issue of regulation, identified by the report, we will consult very soon on proposals for a heat in buildings bill designed to give a very clear signal on how and when climate friendly heating systems and improved energy efficiency measures will need to be installed. Liam Kerr. I thank the Minister for that answer, which is an oddly positive response on the Scottish Government's role, given that a recent FOI revealed this Government has only one heat pump in its entire estate and has no idea how many it might need to install. But in any event, the CITB reported in March 2021 that an additional 4,300 plumbers and HVAC workers will be required in Scotland, primarily in the installation of heat pumps by 2028. What did the Minister do in response to that now two-year-old report? And will we have 4,300 by 2028? Minister. What we've done, as I said in my first answer, is continue to develop an ambitious programme of work, including on the supply chain delivery plan uh, and working with uh, stakeholders, including businesses right across the sector. There is incredible innovation happening uh, in the area of heat decarbonisation, as well as strong enthusiasm from the sector to retrain and reskill so that we have the capacity that we need. We're, we've been at a few thousand installations a year in uh, recent years. We need to be uh, at significantly more than that, perhaps 100,000 uh, installations or more uh, by the end of this decade. So that's an extraordinary scale of expansion that's required. Uh, we are very clear that the ambition uh, is matched by the actions uh, that we're taking. But I, I think I would also just question whether the Conservatives are being entirely consistent on some of these issues, because the, uh, uh, as, as uh, Net Zero spokesperson for his party, Mr uh, Kerr told the Daily Mail, that notable champion of climate action, uh, the government's stated intention to ban the replacement of fossil fuel boilers uh, from 2025 is unrealistic, will alarm people. It's Briefly, Minister. to impose huge demands. So the Conservatives do need to make up their minds. Are we doing too much or too little here? Liam Kerr. I thank the Minister for that answer. I'm not sure I heard a commitment to the 4,300, but in any event, he questioned the commitment and the, the ambition. But this weekend saw huge swathes of Aberdeen City and Shire without electricity for extended periods due to the storms. Now, if the Minister were to be successful in moving everyone onto heat pumps, how does he suggest that the people of the North East would heat their homes during a power cut? And does he concede, therefore, that putting all his eggs in the electricity basket with a one-size-fits-all approach is as naive as it is misguided? Minister. Well, I, I'm sure Mr Kerr is aware uh, that uh, combi boilers also require an electrical power supply in order to operate. So power cuts uh, are going to be disruptive, whatever heating systems we use. But the, the opportunity to scale up uh, our ambition uh, on zero emissions heating is not only a positive opportunity for jobs, for skills in this country, uh, and to support businesses that are innovating, but it's also a challenge that is simply unavoidable. There is no path toward uh, Scotland's emission reduction targets without decarbonising uh, heating, including a million homes uh, in this decade. The Scottish Government has expanded capacity, uh, for example, through Warmer Homes Scotland, uh, the uh, support for the SMEs through Business Energy Scotland, and a host of other programmes. And it's really encouraging to see uh, the innovation that's happening, for example, from much more affordable, low-cost heat pumps being produced by British Gas and by Octopus, uh, and supported by the flexible grant and loan systems uh, that Scotland has available. Colin Smith. 
Thank you, President Officer. The WWF report is clear that the government will fall short of its target for decarbonising a million homes by 2030, but there are also remains concerns at the cost to households of making the changes that we do need to see happen. Does the Minister accept that if we are serious about a just transition, that more does need to be done to ensure that the cost of these changes does not land on the shoulders of those who can least afford it, not least given the fact that we are still facing that cost of living crisis? Minister. Well, I, I think, unlike others, Mr Smith is serious uh, about wanting to see this transition happening and wanting to see it happen fairly. I mentioned the innovations happening from more affordable, lower-cost heat pumps coming onto the market from the likes of British Gas and Octopus. We're going to see more of that continue to happen, and that fits so well with the Scottish Government's more generous and more flexible grant and loan package, uh, 7,500 on both the energy efficiency and on the uh, zero emission heating systems with additional uplifts for rural and remote areas. That means that the installations that we need to see both of energy efficiency and of zero emission heating will gradually and continually become more affordable uh, and we need to make sure that we also put pressure uh, on the current UK Government if there's any hope of it, but Mr Smith may have colleagues in the UK Government before too long as well, so he will need to put pressure on them as well to do what they have not done and rebalance energy prices so that electricity is more affordable and zero emission heating systems are more affordable for people to run. I'm sure he'll have that ambition shared with the Scottish Government on that point. Question number two.